Okay, my friends, it's Roger once again. This is a giant meteorite, an iron meteorite, and it also is a lung. That came through space, and it cooked off in space. It's called smelting. All the organics left, and the heavy metals remained. And it's not only iron. There's all kinds of other metals in there. There's iridium in there, which we will speak of later. And this is what happens when they come through. I have a meteorite here right there that has blistered off as it came through the atmosphere and this one is saturated with blood this is a fingertip from a giant creature and it came through space and blistered off and burnt off all the organics and the blood that was still saturated in here and wet exploded that's not dripped out of there. That is exploded. And it only explodes from the red blood side, not the vein side. Here is a terrestrial fingertip. Same exact fingertip, except this one just purged its blood by blowing out the side. It didn't explode like this one coming through space, boiled. This one just dripped out. Same fingertip terrestrial came through space. That's the only reason it's blistered off and blackened and all the meat is gone and the blood has exploded. We got issues with space. Alright, these are found on my property. That one was DNA certified. That one I didn't bother because it gushed blood. I mean literally gushed blood out of all of those little red spots. And that is the blood. Now, this is the pattern of the lung. This is the lung, and that is the pattern. Now, I put a little moisture on there because it rehydrates. This has been here almost 10 years, and it still will actually let a little bit of redness show up on those spots. But that is the fabric of the lung, which you can see. It's right there. All right, and this, it, this is what's inside of a lung. Now, if that came through space, and I'm telling you, they're in space. I don't care what anybody says. I have seen them. I have stuff here that came through space. Meat comes through space all the time. The astronauts say space smells like steak. They come in off of this, uh, from a spacewalk, and they take their suit off, and they say, ooh, sirloin. It is loaded with, and, and let me show you the chemistry of space. All right, let's start here. This is what you're made of, all right? All creatures are made out of your mud is your clay, your fleshy stuff. Then you start getting into your uh, marl and all that, which is half and half clay, starting to get into mixes of organs and so forth. By the time you get done, CaCO3 is limestone. That's your tendons and the real structural part of your body. So this is how creatures break down in, as far as uh, the chemistry goes. Now don't forget they just came back from Bennu saying that they found clays on there and I have seen the anatomical structure absolutely no question it is a biological thing. Bennu. Now here's what our sandstone is the outside grip skin stuff mudstone is the inner layer fleshy stuff and then the limestone just like I talked about before now silicon calcium magnesium iron aluminum these are all the different densities in the different areas of your body your sandstone your, your grip skin is totally different than your internal organs or your tendons so let's go a little further all right, so here's from the fillet lander out on um, Comet 67P, the Rosetta mission. I followed this right from the beginning. I have tons of videos on it. Look, everything here, hydrocarbons, hydrocarbons, iron, silicon, sodium, all, you know, carbon, it's, it, it, it is life. And they came back and they said, it's so organic we could not figure out what to do, what to call it. Watch. All right, this is Astronomy Magazine. This goes back uh, a couple years ago. And uh, there's Comet 67P, Rosetta Spacecraft, click 35,000 dust grains to determine a chemical composition, which I just showed you. Now, 2014, after 10 years, they landed, da 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 da, -da and did all this stuff. They got all of that stuff. Uh, today, in a study published monthly, 
The Rosetta team added onto the space probe's already impressive legacy, finding that organic molecules make up half of the dust emitted by Comet 67P. The dust emitted by Comet 67P is cooked meat. I'm going to tell you right now, if you cook meat in a, a low oxygen environment, this is what you're going to get. Huh. This is a meteorite. You see all those little vascular holes? That's exactly the same as these vascular holes up on Comet 67P, and I'll show you what they do. All right, that's what these holes do. And there was blood vessel holes all the way around anchoring this and feeding blood up through, and they all are shooting off. These are shooting off to the left, to the right, to the sides, wherever. The bigger holes shoot off bigger uh, shots. I mean, look from the side. This is strictly being cooked. That is cooking. It has nothing to do with just dust blowing away. Otherwise, it would do it all the time. It only does it when it gets closer to the sun. All right, we could just close a case, case on this. 100%. That is biology cooking in space, as every single thing else that I have found is. And I mean 100%. Okay, my friends, from our mainstream education system, indoctrination system, not a single word is correct. A hundred percent is wrong of theory. Everything to do with the Big Bang is absolute nonsense. Creation is real. Evolution is more nonsense. Virtually everything that I've heard from them, not a single thing is right. Not, nothing to do with light and heat and energy and geology and geography and space and, and not a thing. So here we go. I'm going back to where the reality was real. And they wrote about it and they wrote pretty well about it. There were giants in the earth in those days. Now, the earth was made of giants. The earth is made of the titans. Now, and also after that, when the sons of God came into the daughters of men, they bare children to them. The same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. Now, they have this wrong. Literally, the Bible's wrong. It's not the, the new giants became the men of old and the men of renown. No, the men of renown were the old giants, which is the earth. Now, t listen now. They took the earth. And they said, let's take the clay from the earth and we'll make some people. And they did. So where did that clay come from? Giants, from titans, from huge, gigantic titans. That is the DNA that was in that clay. Now, so they make humans and they figure, well, everything is okay. If you other godly people stay away from those humans, they're going to be all right. But if you put your DNA with that gigantic titan DNA, we're screwed. They did, consequently, they were screwed. Okay, so now, I, as far as I'm concerned, I haven't he heard anything from religious people that makes a whole lot of sense, to be honest. And I haven't heard anything from academia that makes any sense at all. And I read this and I say, this makes sense. Deliverance from false prophets. Now, there were also false prophets among the, pro false prophets among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you. So there were, that means before, the prophets were trying to lead people astray. And there are false teachers now among us, among you. They will secretly introduce destructive hearsays that even deny the master who bought them, bringing swift destruction on themselves. That's the academics. Now, many will follow in their depravity, and because of them, the way of truth will be defamed. And that is exactly what's happened. I see a lot of truth here. I see no truth whatsoever from the people we look to for the truth. And that is the truth.